To all my friends who are starting your career as a SAP technical consultant, SAP in SAP the coding language is a BAP, okay, and you might get lost a little with the BAP, okay. So in order to know how you can find specific code examples for a BAP, you can always search in Google. Google is a wonderful example. Uh, but you can always search in inside SAP. There's a transaction ABAP docu, okay, slash n ABAP docu. You just click on it, okay. So then it shows display ABAP documentation, okay. And here, suppose I want to select, I want to know about field symbols, okay. So suppose if I go here and select field symbols, okay. And I search and I get everything related with field symbols. This is very important. Now, suppose you want to do something on, suppose on ABAP examples. So if you want to see ABAP examples, you can select all the ABAP examples. You might get lost sometimes, okay? Just start with small things, okay? So then it would be easier for you. So there's stuffs for the all the newbies, there's stuffs on JSON and other stuffs. That has been really added recently okay but there are other steps like you can do something small select like click on select inline declaration okay this is something that has been done for this is a new thing that has sap has done for uh, for in the new as new editor okay then you can see select extended result and all those things these are new stuffs now suppose you want to Whenever you have this, you can even put debug points, okay? And you can find out what are the things that has changed, okay? So this is pretty useful, okay? So then you have ABAP and SAP HANA. You click on this, specific ABAP specific session variables that you can use. So this is very useful. This is like ABAP. So if you can, if you know this, this would be very easy okay for you to understand all these things okay so here if you think these are some of the other examples now here you can see uh, sap hana about specific sections okay so here is some source code you can execute and you can learn the best thing is copy paste and edit that's the way to go don't try to you know reinvent the wheels sap is smart enough it has been in the in the in the business for over around 50 years so they know what they're doing okay so you don't need to worry about it okay so here you can see other stuffs that you can see get runtime runtime measurement of database like whether the database reads are taking time it takes more time and all those things you can do all these things fancy stuff that that is pretty useful now there are other stuffs that you can do so suppose here i'm searching uh what more i will search that is uh, pretty useful so suppose i'm just doing for all entries okay so if i search for all entries and here you can see these are some of the examples for all entries okay so here you can see these are very good examples that you are going to use for sure for all entries you are going to use and there are other stuffs you can see all the select clauses now you can see the joins you can see some simple inner inner outer join and all those things examples very easy then you have multiple joins this is also very helpful all these things are helpful especially when you are trying to build uh, coding in the new world as well as you know the cds views coding now uh, if you want something related with user dialogues okay here you have din pros okay i'm not sure whether we have the about pass pass so we can get that nope so it doesn't have have it here so that's the new thing that you code in the so then you have some programming guidelines you have some rules specific rules about objects as a programming model so if you can just go through it sometimes 
I've been working with the web for the last 14 to 15 years. I have not got through it. So it will take some time. And whenever you are stuck, you know, you can always check all these things. And again, you, you when you are coding in SE38 or ADT, this shows up automatically. But if you see what is this robust about, let's see, it's something different. Mm, never seen this. Mm, so dynamic programming technique. Use dynamic programming techniques. Well, it's just saying that, you know, don't build code for specific scenarios. Try to make it dynamic. Okay. Uh, so those those are helpful stuffs that you can use okay just because you love to code doesn't mean that you will be coding you need to create stand you need to create um means smart coding those are very important stuff i think the inline declaration is something that has come pretty new and it's very helpful okay so these are stuffs that you can use and let's see including structures table work areas this was there for a long time uh, let's see structure and types naming comments <laughs> comments is here uh, try to give comments wherever possible that's sometimes helpful okay multiple use of include programs so so these are the stuffs that you can search a lot of things like you can see a BAP overview what is it the BAP dictionary is very important okay so this is the classic objects that was in ECC 6 and this is the new S4 HANA way okay so you have a BAP CDS you can see all the general syntax rules if you double click uh, it will tell you what you need to do and then you have the data definition the access control and here you have the performance note so this is very helpful another one last last thing i will probably see is try to see delete delete the statement uh, execute and so here you can say delete delete adjustment duplicates delete this these are very important stuff mm, let let's just search with uh, at the rate I've seen these are annotation escape character and a web annotation SAP annotation so these are new stuffs that SAP has introduced in this uh, new release new uh, S4 HANA environment okay so you can you you want to learn all this syntaxes in order to make some codes very fancy and less coding less typing and make it more user friendly so these are very important stuff so just go through abab doku learn new stuff and try to apply to it uh, learning new stuff is is not useful unless you apply it in your code so those are the stuffs that is very helpful so that's it for abab doku just go through it and if you're stuck just search there and um, stay tuned to my channel for SAP tips and tricks and thank and uh, happy SAP learning.